Oh, it's cold. <coughs> Getting a late start today. Today is Tuesday, it's the second Tuesday of the month, which means tonight is the Music Booster Club meeting. I have some very enthusiastic officers, but I only have two, maybe three parents that come that aren't officers, and sometimes all the officers don't come. Man, we could do so much more if all the parents were involved in the Music Booster Club. I don't know what to do. Um, I, I communicate with them every month. I encourage them to come out. I bribe them with uh, treats. What do I gotta do, give them all a dollar if they show up? I mean, it's no wonder the kids aren't committed. Parents don't back up the program. It's frustrating. Hey, if you're a band director out there and you've got any uh, any clues as to how to get more parents involved in my Music Booster Club, leave a comment down below. Ooh, I see pretty lights up ahead. Is that an ambulance or a fire? Or... It's too far in the distance to tell right now. Oh yeah, great. I get the camera turned around and and then it stops. <laughs> what do you think that was? Did, could you tell what that was? I, I don't know. I, th I think it was an ambulance. Well, I'm not getting into the parking lot until 6.43. I'd like to be here before 6.30. But what's really cool at our school is... Um, the ASB auctions off parking spots. <laughs> Last year I came late. I was hired after the school year was underway basically. And so I missed it. But I was here enough to, to see it happening. And they were going for like upwards to $200. <clears throat> so this year I put my bid in strong. I said a hundred bucks, boom, on this spot. I wanted to be, you know, not in the front line, but I wanted to have my my trunk facing the back, you know, so I could load out uh, straight to the school. And I sat back and watched the rest of the bids and the other parking spaces all went for like 20, 25 bucks. <laughs> so it was funny. But I don't have to worry about not having a space. That's great. I love it. Yeah. Well, I uh, just finished second period music appreciation. And uh, the lesson time was cut short because I took them through the gymnasium. They're having a career fair today. So we got to go to the gym, break up the routine a little bit. Somebody said, I just went with first period. Oh, they got snacks. Let's go again. So, um, I want your opinion on something. Um, some of you know I have this uh, Star Trek jacket that I wear. It's got patches. There's the bell for third period. Um, it's got patches on the shoulders and on the back, lots of Star Trek patches. And they're all in-world. You know, none of them actually say Star Trek. They're all in-world patches, like this one. This one, you know, they don't say Star Trek on them. So anyway, at the career fair, NASA was there. And I got a NASA patch. Yeah. I said, I should put this on my jacket too. Because NASA fits into Star Trek. Because this is, NASA is the predecessor of Starfleet. Right? Yeah. That's one of the reasons I enjoyed watching Star Trek Enterprise is because it bridges the gap between NASA and Starfleet.
and it's kind of cool. And that was uh, very creative in that regard. So, <clears throat> yes or no, should I put this, should I put a NASA patch on my Star Trek Starfleet jacket? Leave me a comment down below, yes or no. Uh, subscribe, like, share, blah, 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 etc., etc. Well, I have everything ready for my Music Booster Club meeting tonight. So I'm going to go off campus and get some grub. I either go to Tom's, which is virtually across the street, or I drive a little bit and go to Jay's Hideaway, uh, which has... It's a little more expensive, but it's more substantial food. And I haven't been there since last year, so I think I'm gonna go to, wait, ah, I don't have my car keys. Dang it, I gotta go back to the band room and get my car keys. Arr. Okay, I might as well chit chat. Hey, look what I got. Can you see that? I got a NASA pin. I got an army pin because uh, today was a career day. They had a thing in the gymnasium and a few of the uh, military branches were represented. National Guard, Army, Navy, Marines, no Air Force. And we have Air Force right next door at Edwards Air Force Base, so I don't know why they weren't there. No Coast Guard either. And then uh, City of Palmdale and City of Lancaster and City of Rosamond were all represented with uh, summer jobs, availabilities, and such like that. So, oh, uh, I was on the phone yesterday with uh, the band director from Cal City. I got my car keys. The band director from Cal City, he's going to come visit our rehearsal this Thursday. Going to sit in. I look forward to any constructive critique he has to share. And uh, it's bright out here. And then... Next month in March, we're going to two festivals. We're going to a band and orchestra festival in at Little Rock High School and at Serrano High School in Phelan. So last year we only went to Little Rock. This year we're going to two. So that's great, right? That's right. That's great. So I'm looking forward to tonight's Music Booster Club meeting. They're always encouraging. But dang it, I wish more parents would come out. You know, if we have six or seven, that's what we usually get. Out of a band of 26, there should be a lot more. So, if you're a band kid or a band parent that's watching this, you are soundly chastised. Come out to the freaking Music Booster Club. It's once a month. Second Tuesday of every month at 7 o'clock in the band room. It's important, dang it. Do you care about your kid's music program or not? Well, I'm just a bit upset. I drive out to Jay's Hideaway and they close at three now. How can they say breakfast, lunch, and dinner if they close at three? Ah, I guess I wasn't giving them enough business. The sun's in my eyes. All right, I'm going to Tom's. So, I'm at Tom's. Tom's is a chain of family-owned restaurants in the Yellow Valley and beyond. I think this is, what, number 28? And they have over 30 of them. So it's quite a successful business. Anywho, since Jay's is closed, and the Tom's. And Tom's is closer to the school. It's just practically across the street. So last time I came here, I walked. <clears throat> so I'm number 51. 51! And uh, I'll be eating soon. That was so good. Uh, they have a 50-50 burger, which is 50% ground beef, 50% bacon. Yeah, 50-50. And then I had bacon on that. We had a good uh, <laughs> Music Booster Club meeting tonight. Seven band members were represented by parents 
as I predicted, seven, that's a good number, my favorite number, but I'd love it if we had everybody. Gosh dang it, people come out. We have so much business to discuss and we need your opinions, we need your support, we need your perspectives, the more the merrier. So if you're a band student watching this, get your parents to get here. It's the second Tuesday of every month, seven o'clock in the band room. Why do we say seven? So that you have time to have dinner. You know, go home and have dinner with your family. Your parents have time to come home from work and have dinner with the family and then come out. And we're done, look, it's 8.39 and we were done like 20 minutes ago. So, you know, an hour, hour and a half at the most. It's not a lot of time to invest in your child's music education. Come on, parents, get out here. All right, I've rambled enough. Um, I gotta go home. I have a wife to go kiss goodnight. Oh, Mr. Glazy, don't talk about that on your band director's log. What are you doing? What are you doing?